uh, it's probably in, in my in my blood, in my heart. Um, I have told the kids for years, I don't care if it's girls basketball, if it's the golf team or whatever, I've just always enjoyed seeing Parkway North in the headlines and um, you should always, you know, that old saying, be true to your school and um, I have. You know, I grew up across the street in Seven Pines, so uh, this has been my home and, you know, I haven't had to act. I was lucky I was here the first year the school opened in terms of, I, I watched this school be built. Uh, I was around for the first football season and uh, one, I've just always enjoyed uh, this being like a family. I want them to be comfortable. These kids give a lot of time to us and I want them to, to enjoy it. I want them to be treated with respect, uh, not only from me, but with each other. Uh, I just think that there's a lot of life lessons in the game of football, irregardless if you're going to move on to the next you know, level or not. Being a good teammate, a great teammate, speaks a lot about life because a great teammate doesn't always mean that you're on a team. Be a great family member, be a, a positive person at your, your job. It doesn't matter what talent you have. I mean, being a great teammate requires zero talent. It's just be positive and uh, that helps you get along with people in life and um, adversity. I mean, you, you experience adversity in, in, in athletics and you certainly experience more adversity, more serious adversity in life. And I just think that those two things are, are really important in the development of, of, of a young kid, a young man. I told our football kids yesterday, we had a discussion where we're facing some adversity. And I told the kids, you know, someone else is gonna be standing here next year in front of you. And what I really want from them really had very little to do with, with athletics. I want them to do well academically, and I mean that. And I know that is something that I have really taken pride in, uh, is helping these kids and guiding them. We raise the expectation GPA-wise here for football, and um, all of that was, was for the benefit of the kids. So I, I really hope that someone treats them well. I mean that. Um, I told the kids I, I will miss it, no question. But um, I, I, I just always think kids, when they give you their effort, and all of them have, uh, they should be rewarded, and that should be with a, a first-class experience. There's nothing like a game day, a game night. There, there really isn't. Um, you know, I know I will miss that. Sharing with coaches, you become very attached to guys. And you know, the games, uh, it, that's hard. There's been so many, there's been over 200. And we've had some great victories here. Uh, we've had some great teams that have gone on to the Final Four. Those are special, but you know what? Uh, I can remember kids in certain situations where maybe it was an average kid doing something above average in a game. I, I got a thrill out of that, still do, uh, I really do. So I think it's just the relationships that you have with, with people here that uh, and the experiences that I, that I will miss. I've just always enjoyed kids coming back and, and feeling like this, this has been home.